Okay. I think I got my stuff to work. After, uh, manhandling this game and getting it to work. Logan? Is that you? Logan? Hello. Hello. You were muted. I, I noticed that after a second. <laughs> oh my god. I completely... I mean, I didn't forget. I just... I put the Magical Girl Transformation costume on. <laughs> we're playing the game like this. Okay. <laughs> what a nightmare. I think it's funny. A little bit. So what made you want to replay Silent Hill 3? Uh, I missed Robbie Rabbit. But also because I wanted to play a horror game in... <laughs> you guys heard it here first. Percy, local bunny boy, misses his husband, Robbie Rabbit. <laughs> yes. No, it was primarily that I wanted to play a horror game and I was itching to get back into this because it's been two years and was wanting to replay it. Yeah, fair I, can't, I can't guarantee I'm going to do all of it on stream, but... It's me. It is thematically <laughs> accurate magic. Sorry, I didn't <laughs> Very appropriate for the situation at hand. Anyway, I'm yes. I did pull up, like, because I know there's, like, a list of codes for different outfits, so I like pulled it up to see like okay. what options there were. Okay, and a lot I'll... of them are just like t-shirt changes. And I considered doing one that was called Kill a Rabbit, which is a Robbie Rabbit shirt. <laughs> but then I remember this and was like, oh yes. This'll be funny. Heather, I need to <clears throat> My name is Douglas Carter. I'm a detective. Hold on. There's someone that wants to meet you. Just let me have an hour. No half an hour of your time. Yes, this is the most absolute amazing drip. She definitely wears this on a daily basis and didn't just get back from Comic Con. True. It's about your birth. I'm not interested. Got blackout drunk after going to Comic Con. <laughs> Didn't take off her costume. In fact, she can't get it off. She accidentally oh, used uh, super glue instead of body glue. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh. There we go. Oh, I forgot the camera's a little janky, but it'll be fine. Just a little bit. I've never seen any of the Silent Hills. Was too much of a baby when I was... I was, well, still almost a baby. That's fair. Nope, not saving over my original save. Why not? Mall toilet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love mall toilet. It's my favorite. 
Why would you say that? That's gross. Ew. I would like to yes. I would Announcing aloud. Oh, I guess someone's in this stall right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can just take it off. Okay. Hold on. I'm gonna put it- Okay. Now remember, when you have to fight God, you have to put it back on. I'm gonna put it back on here in a second, or I can remember how the fuck I opened that menu. <laughs> I genuinely don't know what fucking button I pushed. There we go. School toilet experience. Now, you you reminded me of a time in middle school where I was oh like, Oh my god. In... Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. This is great. Yeah. I... So, I keep forgetting that the thing to open the inventory in this game is to press the left trigger in. But my brain keeps trying to default to that as, like, the run the run button, because I feel like that's what it is in a lot of games. Yeah. So I just can't run yet. Oh, there we go. Uh, Apex little story about middle school you were about to tell. Mm. I was, uh, in the bathroom, just doing my business, and, uh, some kid comes in and starts, like, desperately trying to kick down my door? Uh... I don't say anything, he doesn't really, like, understand- he doesn't realize that I'm in there and, like, it's locked, and he moves on to a different door. I leave and he's like, oh, sorry. It's like, what? <laughs> What the fuck? It's... It was it was such a bizarre experience. I don't remember a whole lot about this game, but for some reason my brain keeps telling me that I thought the game opened up with like a Robbie Rabbit dream sequence of like you at the park. Oh, it does. Uh that's what the gun is for. I see. <laughs> I'm going to kill you with the power of friendship! And this gun I fucking found! <laughs> <coughs> Throw the gun. Wishes he had this much drip, it's true. Definitely not a human, never heard of such an animal. I can tell from here that it's dead. No shit! The dressing room, don't need to go in there, you- you're right! You absolutely don't. You're perfect just the <laughs> way you are. <laughs> Can I please put this gun away? No!
is all. I found a map. I love maps. I do too. Unfortunately, a singing uh, bug did not give one to me. They should put a parallelogram head in Fortnite. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say, Magic. That's right. I'm Tim Sweeney, and I do whatever Magic says I need to do. As you should. <laughs> oh, okay. I was misreading it for a second. I thought that... The green thing was my cursor. Just being super fucking weird. No, that's me in the direction I'm facing. I keep forgetting that this game has the buttons, like, programmed weird and that I never bothered to fix it. Yeah. Okay, so I really have no reason to... Octodecahedron head really killing it. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say that right? Octodecahedron? Yeah. Yeah, that's correct. Octodeck you in the fucking throat. That's what I say. It's what I say to uh, Pyramid Head when uh, he's chasing me. Because I'm, I'm. I'm cool like that. I'm fucking tired, man. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> I love entering a room and hearing noises and going no. I love entering rooms. Why am I getting pinged? Who pinged me? Hold on. Get pinged, idiot. Octodeca half a D's nuts in your whip cage. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Look, I understand why the camera is the way that it is in this game. It's supposed to feel like a movie. That does not stop me from being a little frustrated when I can't maneuver the camera the way that I want to see around mm -hmm. a corner. I don't want to pull the gun. Percy about to install a mod that just gives him free camera control. <laughs> the entire game is broken. As a result. Maybe I should figure out how to attack before I go out there. Yeah, maybe. What button? Oh. And a bullet or two. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to go to Comic Con. <laughs> ready to defend yourself from the hordes at Comic Con. From all the men that don't understand that cosplay is not fucking consent. <laughs> also, I love how the heart on this costume, like, fucking glows in the dark. Yeah, it's like really stand out. Resident Evil fans, when they have 10 degree vision, they're just as good as Quake Pro players. Okay, so it is actually glowing. I was trying to figure out, like, oh, is it glowing or is that just a weird lighting thing? No, I think it's glowing. Yeah, no, I, I think it is just, like, actually glowing. It's it's one of those shitty like quote unquote glow in the dark shirts, but it's like so dim you wouldn't be able to make it out from like any distance aside from like two feet or less. You have to be like within talking distance with this person to see it. Or comprehend it.
Because investigate the fucking body. Anyway. No. How about yes? Is it sad that I'm regret regretting a little bit not putting the combat in easy mode? <laughs> can you not change it now, now that you've started? I don't think I can. I can check here in a second. Ah. I'm just falling between the table and the floor. I think it might be a key. If my arm were a little longer, I might be able to reach, it. reach between the fucking boards. <laughs> <clears throat> Too much of a pain to move something that heavy. Is this character's name Ashley? Am I, am I remembering that correctly? I... I don't remember. Silent Hill 3 protagonist. It's Heather, I'm stupid. <laughs> oh my god. I could put on the Heather shirt. Heather shirt. shirt. <laughs> Ashley is Resident Evil 4. Oh, oh! My mistake. I already just fucked up the controls. Oh, no. Uh-oh, what'd you do? Oh, uh -oh. no! What's wrong, babe? Hold on. Okay, I think I fixed it. Okay, okay. I think I accidentally bound a button to a direction that it was not meant for. Oh, fun. Okay. Um... It's like a magic circle I remember reading about in a book on black magic. Doesn't it seem so familiar because I read about it in that book? No, that's not... It's from the altar. Altar? What am I thinking? <coughs> yes, I wish to overwrite my mall toilet save. Why would you ever do that? I don't know. Come on, it's the mall toilet save. Come on. What are we doing up? I bet I could oof take it off. Got a beam saber? What the fuck is that? A sword sh a sword shining with a strange force. A switch turns the blade on and off. Oh my god. <laughs> <coughs> I 
I am fucking ready. I don't even know what game I'm playing anymore. <laughs> Just fucking. This is the we weirdest Comic Con Ashley is. It? Sorry, Heather has ever been to. Apparently, the solution is gun. Ah yes, gun. Wow, the gun was incredibly effective. Heather used gun. It's super effective. I now have bloody footprints. The fuck did I just pick up? Out damned spot. I rewatched uh, Across the Spider Verse a couple nights ago. I've I've had it on my mind. Yeah. Yeah. God, what a fucking great movie. <laughs> yeah. I, uh... So, I, I think I've talked about this before. I did a, a, a big report for a, a movies class that I took, uh... I think about a year ago now. Um, and this big report was about, uh, the, like... How, how the two existing Spider-Man trilogies, like, compare, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, it was a pretty big deal doing this because, you know, uh, spoilers for uh, Spider-Man No Way Home, but uh, characters return uh, in that movie, and things happen, and there's a lot of very good parallels between the older movies and the newer movies. Uh, I didn't watch the Andrew Garfield movies. I really should at some point. Uh, I remember watching... Is it the first one with Electro? I don't remember. Um, but the I, I've never seen like the Amazing Spider-Man movies in full, and what I have watched of one of them, which was the one that had Electro in it, uh, kind of fucking sucked. <laughs> it it was bad. Um, but I do want to see it at some point to see like what was referenced and you know. All that, but anyway, anyway, uh, I bring this up because I was basically doing the same thing just for fun with uh, Across the Spider Verse, and there's there's a lot of good parallels. Movies are cool. They really are. Yeah. I think we should go back to 2D animation. That's great, babe. Go back to drinking your juice box. Okay, I'm actually drinking apple cider right now. Oh, nice. I don't like that sound. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's fun. I was like, I can hear it. Where the fuck is it coming mm -hmm. from? <laughs> I think there's nothing out here for me. I think it's time to never go outside again. What do you think? I agree. The sun is too bright. I don't like it. <clears throat> we should put out the sun. I see no way in which this could go possibly wrong. Can't see me. 
Heather cannot be seen. This is a known fact. John Cena. <laughs> Please ignore the giant glowing heart uh, on on her shirt. You cannot see it. And if you say that you can, no, you can't. You're a fucking liar. Correct. I'm being real with you, I don't remember the plot of this game from my first playthrough. Mm -hmm. I remember that you go to a theme park at some point. That, the, like, the last act takes place at the theme park. Yeah. I don't remember the fucking plot aside from that. Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Don't die. I make no fucking promises. I don't want to fight it. Well, that's helpful. Maybe I should walk around it. Never mind. It's like I can climb over it. Climb through it. Easy. Ashley, you could simply hotwire the car. Have you considered just not being Heather, a fucking hell, oh my god. I don't have an excuse for that. What? I called her Ashley again, it's Heather. <laughs> her name is Heather. It's a, a monster. I killed it. Take the dress. Congratulations. It's not that I hate clothes, but this isn't the time or place. You're a fucking coward. I have already lost the fucking plot. Uh, where the fuck am I supposed to be going? Also, is this a horror game or is this just a fucking, uh, modern mall? Yes.
Tongs. Tong. I want to steal you a can bread. Use it. It's bread. It's bread. It's bread. But I'm not really hungry, so I guess I don't need to worry about it. No, take the fucking bread. Consume bread. There are no employees around. I wonder where they all went. Heather, I don't care. Take the fucking bread. Okay, now I'm really fucking... Where the fuck am I supposed to be going? Why does Heather simply not leave the Silent Hill? Is she stupid? You right? Oh, I... Hold on. Do you remember? A key. The 21st night of September? Yes. Changing our lives forever? Yes. I don't, I don't remember the last rest of the lyrics. I don't either. <laughs> Her leg clipping through the skirt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, modeling is hard. Well, that and this is a fun costume, so I don't think they really put a ton of effort into making sure that the model didn't clip. Yeah, they just said, fuck it, good enough, ship it. Spin. Heather, spin move. No, that's Taken not. with tongs? No, silly. You take pictures with cameras. There's a tag on the key that says my best sellers. <laughs> you good there, Heather? <laughs> the fuck? Oh. Oh, this bastard again. There you go. <laughs> So what I wanted. I I keep forgetting buttons are fucked up. Well, not that they're fucked up, that they're just programmed to different things than what I'm used to, and I don't want to fix it. Mm -hmm.
Oh, there's many of them. Where the fuck am I going? I guess back out to the, the fucking plaza. Oh fuck! Oh, I see where it goes to, okay. Bullets. I love bullets. Need more bullet. Indeed. I love bullets. I love. I love bullet. Shakespeare. So, so I don't have time to look at the fucking magazines, but I have time to pick up Shakespeare. Yeah, and keep it with you. You have all five anthologies in your inventory. Uh, it was on the floor of the bookstore, Shakespeare book, just like it says. No. No. Oh, they're gonna be for a puzzle, okay. Oh, yeah. You have to order them and... Get oh, a code or something. Am I supposed to put them back on the shelf? Maybe? Yeah, here we go. Shakespeare. <laughs> Magic, no, you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> No, I think that was correct. Oh, maybe not. Eight three seven okay. two. There you go. Now, if only I knew what that went to. Yeah, you'll figure it out. Oh, probably this. Eight, three, seven, two. Huzzah! It's a lot. Oh my god, how did you figure that out? I'm not supposed to send her via text? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I thought you... Oh, I misunderstood. <clears throat> I thought you were shaking the pier, Magic. Those weird monsters? They have come to witness the beginning. The rebirth of paradise, despoiled by mankind. What are you talking about? Don't you know Very cool and normal things to say. Is needed. How should I know? I am Claudia. So what? Remember me, and your true self as well. Also. That which you must become. The one who will lead us to paradise with blood-stained hands. Claudia, right? Did you do all this? It was the hand of God. I'm really sorry. It's really hard to take both of them seriously when it looks like they both just came from Comic-Con. <laughs> <laughs> The 
Does Claudia see how Heather is dressed? She expects to know the Necronomicon. I don't get it. What does she want me to remember? Remember, you dumb bitch. <laughs> yeah, you can join voice magic. <laughs> That's the button. <laughs> I love buttons. Hello. Hi, Magic. I don't remember this in fucking Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this part was weird. <laughs> when did you get a lightsaber? I totally missed that. Uh, I think I literally pulled it off of a door handle at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Or at the very least, I interacted with a door, and it was like, oh, the this doorknob looks like it could come off, and then next thing I knew, that was in my inventory. You know, if it took me to live through Silent Hill 3, then, and I would get a lightsaber that way, then I would be glad to live in Silent Hill 3. <laughs> I want a lightsaber. Yeah. I don't think a kid wants to believe in this. When am I going to back up? Can you believe this shit ever? Can you believe this? Heather, just, just a question. Have you ever considered doing cocaine? <laughs> <laughs> I think that might solve your problem. Heather, quick question. Have you considered... <laughs> Crystal meth. Just hard, hard drugs, just like right now. <laughs> you know, just like, just, just try it, you know? What could, what could possibly be worse than this?
Heather, simply do not get hit. It's just that easy. Have you considered just not being a little bitch? <laughs> Someone should make a forehead emote, but it's pyramid head and just call it pyramid head. <laughs> just don't get hit, pyramid head. <laughs> Pyramid Head doesn't show up for like a little while now, doesn't he? I don't think Pyramid Head's even in this game. No, he is. Yeah. I'm like 20% sure he is. Warning when leaving the room. I have horrible news. What? Pyramid Head is not in this. <laughs> what? I thought this was like his I signature guess... game after no, Silent that's... Hill 2. No, it's, yeah, Silent Hill 2 is when he debuted. I completely fucking forgot Pyramid Head was in, in Bomberman R for some reason. Was he? <laughs> yeah, he was in Super Bomberman R. One of the launch titles for the Nintendo Switch. What the fuck? <laughs> Let's go. Sure, man. Whatever. Cannon. I love it when like companies make like the most fucked up games and then they do the dumbest shit with like the creepy characters they make. Yeah. Isn't it just lovely? I look at Isaac Clark, who's in like 50 sports games. Who? Isaac from Dead Space. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's in NBA, in NBA games. He's in golf. He's in Dragon Age. He's also in a skating game, I think. <laughs> There should be something here, but it's too dark to see. If only I had a flashlight. If only you looked into the closet. I can see the fucking hanger <laughs> that I know I'm supposed to pick up. <laughs> okay. Whoever did the sound design for this game heard a radio and went, yeah. That's the one. <laughs> That's it. I got bleach! I love bleach. It gets all the yeah! stains out of out of my out of my clothes. The sort of stuff you use to clean a toilet. I think I had the same kind at home. <laughs> Vital says daydream, um, yeah, Mick. Too bad I can't fucking read. Make, yeah, mustard gas. Make mustard gas. Wait, why why couldn't she use the lightsaber to like illuminate the closet? Hmm. Mixed with acidic detergent it'll produce poisonous chlorine gas. I don't think it says that. <laughs> with the hmm included.
Come on, I need to take a shit. Is someone actually in there? No! I guess it's chlorine gas. Whatever. Voice actors are fire. <laughs> well, what is my current objective? Because I apparently have lost the plot. Um, the current objective is survive. You are playing basketball too. <laughs> On the court right now. <laughs> I'm playing basketball too, except for uh, everyone knows the rules except me. Oh. Where am I? Oh. Are my tongs this Oh, I don't have my tongs anymore. God damn it! I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing now. <laughs> I assume I've missed something. I assume I'm supposed to, I was supposed to have picked up a flashlight somewhere, but I can't figure out where that would have been. I really want time travel to be possible, so like, I could get someone from like, Ancient Rome 2 BC to play Silent Hill and like, see what the reaction would be. I, I think their like, entire existence would just like, I don't know, either Thanos snap or like, explode, you know? Yeah. Like, I, I don't think, I don't think Jupiter intended I don't think Jupiter intended that. I'm not over here looking up a lot, so what are you talking about? These dogs are feasting. Oh... 
It was. Um, I was right. There is an intro sequence at the amusement park, but apparently by starting an extra new game and not just a new game, I skipped it. Hmm. So in keeping my old save file, I skipped over the intro sequence. Oh, fun. Does that mean you self fucked yourself? It also says you can bypass this entire trip through the park simply by dying. Mm. To what? Because I don't recall there being any enemies in the first part. So on. <laughs> I could have gotten a flamethrower! <laughs> because apparently if you meet certain criteria, you pick up weapons on your next playthrough, which is why I got the Beat Saber. Because I met the requirements, which I guess was beating the game. But it was... Oh, if you get- if you guys get a 10 star ranking, the flamethrower will become- Oh, hold on. Okay, if, if you beat more enemies with firearms than with melee attacks, uh, or if you already unlock the beats, the beam saber. Found on the counter in the bakery. It wasn't there though. Anyway. Don't you love the sound? Actually, I don't think you guys can hear it. Because I think I had I to... Can. Okay, I wasn't sure, because when I originally went to stream it through Discord, it was like, uh, audio was unavailable for this game. Uh, no, we can hear the audio. Okay, can't stay for long because I'm sick, but I have to be a great stream person. But thank you, Ghost. I'm You're better soon. You stop by. Yeah, stop being sick. This is an order. Get better sick. Get fucked. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you should get sick now. <laughs> Confirmed. <laughs> Jesus. I just fucking seasoned my myself. I, I was playing with my salt shaker. I looked down. The salt everywhere. Ugh. Ugh. God. I would not survive in a horror game. Too much salt. Magic uh, would spend all of their time knocking over. It's taken one and a half years, so I'm going through it. Uh, I'm staying alive. The living tends to be pretty epic. Voice. What? The living tends to be very epic. Can recommend. Yeah. I think I might go. I think I need to. Yeah, I need to deal with some shit. No. Oh. Shall we? I found the flashlight. <gasps> you found flashlight? Yeah. I Holy totally shit. didn't have to look up a walkthrough. For it to tell me that me reading the sign on the wall about turning off the lights was actually relevant. <laughs> Normal game. Wait, hold on, where am I going? Okay. I don't want to go. I got a hanger.
Oh, I'm gonna be right back. Okay. Okay, uh, I'm a uh, run to the bathroom. I'll be right back, everyone. Well, girl. Chat. Now that he's gone, we can we can we can do things. I think we should give Percy ten hundred thousand dollars. I like this plan. Do you guys like this plan?
Hello. Goodbye. Oh, will you go? No. Oh. <laughs> Not Percy's, down. A, Percy's uh, doing something right now. Oh, all right. It is. It is currently the Magic Apex podcast. Holy tell shit! Me, tell me, how do you feel about generic video game released in the year twenty twenty X? Uh, what what kind of generic? Yes. Triple A. Oh, uh, um, no. Okay, I uh, like that opinion. You can stay on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no, hear me out. Hear me out. Very few triple A games. Okay. Like. Like, um. Um. Soulsborn. Or, um. Resident Evil. Or, um. Probably Crisis. I. I think Crisis is a triple A game. Yeah. Yeah. Most other games, though? No. Boring. It's like untoasted toast. It's the problem, too many toasters. <laughs> I was watching an hour of the path my uh, test finder session yesterday on the Twitch stream. That was the first time I watched any kind of uh, tabletop RPG. I was very confused. Oh yeah, it's uh, something. That was very funny though. Okay, like I'm, I'm, I'm glad you I'm glad you enjoyed it. I I do need to catch up on the Star Wars vod though. You should. It's very good. You know, I, I I do I do like me some Star Wars, if you know. I did not until recently, but I do know now. What do you mean recently? <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah, I didn't know you liked Star Wars until very recently. I love Star Wars. I like grew up with it. <laughs> I didn't know that, and I didn't know you had like so many figurines until recently. <laughs> I literally did not know you enjoyed Star Wars so much until, like, you said you did. Oh, I love Star Wars. I, I, I do love me Darth Vader. Yeah. Speaking of which, who's your favorite character? Um... That's really tough. <laughs> uh, I, I do genuinely, like, enjoy a lot of various Star Wars stuff. Um, I mean, yeah, it's, I, I've, I've tended to enjoy, well, hmm. Hmm. What are we talking hmm. about? Talking about Star War. Uh. Hi, Percy. Hi. I, I think currently my favorite character is probably going to be Cassie and Andor. And from, Walmart. Uh, from Andor. Got a walnut? Mm -hmm. You should combine that with bleach to make bleached walnut. <laughs> I think that'll be very useful in your journey. I think so too. You could also just start using the bleach to clean up this fucking place. That would be nice. Oh. Percy. Huh. Do you like know stuff about Star Wars? What? <laughs> do, do you know do you know stuff about Star Wars? No. Oh my who's your favorite Star Wars character anyway? I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna force you to have an opinion. I don't think Percy's ever really been into Star Wars. <laughs> Wait, what? What just happened? What? I apparently walked off the edge, and I wasn't even aware that there was an edge there to begin with. 
Oh, fun. <laughs> I like I playing sticks. Again. Oh no, like, not the walnut. Like the exact second you like fell off and then like it, it just looked like you were falling through the floor. I think they should put up some guardrails. <laughs> True. Heather, I think you should go up and down the escalator multiple times. See, this plan is working out fantastically. <laughs> I think they need to put up safety barriers. I th and also, I think they lost the entire first floor.
Do you think if I just make the monsters some food, they'll leave me alone? <clears throat> oh Barky god. dog. Who the hell would make something like this? Furthermore, who the hell would eat it? There's something in a dog's stomach. Why did you- why did you fish that out? Heather. <laughs> How did she see that? Yeah, there's there's no exposed stomach. What the fuck, Heather? <laughs> she she's like, who would eat that with like a fork and spoon in her hand? <laughs> Not fucking fork and knife. I was like, I don't fucking know how to read that. Uh oh. They really just set this key simulator. Holy shit, detergent! I want the sponge. Give me the sponge. Now you can actually clean up this place. This fucking filthy mall. Guys, I have the solution. <laughs> I'm getting them, guys. You're doing it! You're doing it! It didn't work.
Can I be real with y'all? Hmm. What? I'm ge I'm I'm genuinely convinced I could survive Silent Hill. All right. <laughs> no 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 like genuinely gen like genuinely like if I was in a situation where I would see some dumbass monster walk towards me, I would not be scared. I would be so fucking pissed. I would be full of adrenaline, right? I would beat the living crap out of that thing. It would like, or oh, would it cry? Okay, but consider there is more than one monster, and also. Uh, oh, Silent you... Hill likes to plot, prey on uh, your fears of things, so consider giant spider monster. Uh, I, I would because probably... Silent Hill will throw that at you. Yeah. yeah I'm that... sorry to say, I don't think <laughs> I don't think Silent Hill will let you just do that. Okay, hear me out. I you underestimate how angry I can get. Like I I. I... <laughs> You underestimate how much adrenaline You underestimate I my power! <laughs> <laughs> now, I could kill everything but the spiders. With the spiders, I would be so... I, I, I know how to handle spiders. I don't... I, I know how to handle spider encounters. I run away. Um, If it blocks the way, I will be so angry that I will punch my way. Like, I will punch another way into the wall, you know? Mm-hmm. Did she just... Why? Huh? <laughs> Why did she do that? Bro She's was not paying attention. <laughs> in chemistry class. No, it killed the bugs. I needed to do that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I, didn't, I thought she just did it because it's fun. Which I did see from the walkthrough that um, apparently that's a puzzle. And depending on what puzzle difficulty you're playing on depends on how easy it was to find the two components. If you're playing on easy, you don't even need to find them. Because no. playing on easy basically just turns off all the puzzles. That's cringe. I found beef jerky. Okay, no. I feel like Silent Hill would be decent enough to, like, not throw a phobia at me. Like, I, I'm normal little fear, like, I, I can see that, but I think Silent Hill is not mean enough to, like, put spiders in, in my Silent Hill, you know? Like, like, I think that would be chill with me. Yeah. <laughs> Silent John Hill would not do that. What the fuck was that spinny thing? Yeah. That's all <laughs> I can say. They made this shit in Gmod, I swear to god. <laughs>
every time she comes out of the door and like the camera is directly in front of her like like the uh i forgot what it's called it's like the shot they use in anime when like the characters are starting to go insane <laughs> like that's a like true sign eyes. yeah yeah <laughs> every time i'm in a vc now and like nobody talks for like a minute or two i'm just going to think like of the words, damn, this hill is silent. <laughs> it's it sure is going. <laughs> Wait, holy shit. Zevit's in stream. Yeah. Zevit's real. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh god, Jim. I've once again forgotten the new- Like... Every time a new area opens up, I just wander around and look at everything. And then... And then it's like, immediately obvious what my objective is. I'm just like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Tennessee is begging for attention, yet she doesn't want to let me pick her up, so she's getting late. <laughs> How she was tired. Problem solved. <laughs> That thing, I I refuse to believe that they said we're going to animate that thing. They just said, "All right, fuck it, we ball." Yeah. No. Uh, I'm gonna cook. I'm gonna be doing dishes and cooking lunch slash dinner, but I'll be here listening. Well, thank you, Avid. <laughs> Welcome to the Percy Magic Apex podcast, where uh, we have objectively correct opinions. Where Percy is definitely, absolutely not looking up a walkthrough to the game right now. <laughs> I am definitely not lost. That's so me when I'm not lost in looking up a walkthrough. Is it loud enough? No. I love, I love games from 1839. I'd like to imagine that people in 200 years just completely forget about Silent Hill. Then some weirdos kid like rediscovers it and then it becomes popular again. People are gonna be like, wow, this game sucks because they'll have like Elden Ring 2 by then. Wow, this game sucks. Can you believe it guys? Dark Souls 4. Finally! Just a week away! Just a week away! After all these years, Dark Souls 4. It's real. Dark Souls um, 4. I did find out from the walkthrough that those spinning things are called pendulums. Oh! Good for them. Did they originate from her fear of uh, physics classes? Because <laughs> they be spinning. Okay, what are these things? Like, if that thing, like, tackled me, I would kick it away. Like, genuinely. Fucking soccer ball looking bozo. <laughs> no way. This is just like Star Wars Movie 3. 
Star Wars Movie 3. <laughs> oh my god. Revenge of the Darth Vader fans. <laughs> Better wizard money game. We hate younglings. No. <laughs> Skill issue. They should have just gotten good. <laughs> they were children. No. What the fuck is the background noise? So I have a thing activated that anytime there's an enemy nearby, it makes a certain static sound. Depending on the enemy. Except for, it gets stupidly loud sometimes. <laughs> that means oh. an enemy is really close. You should be afraid. I thought it was just in a game. Like, I thought it was just Silent Hill the game. I really like that. Okay. Faster. There we go. <laughs> Letter percent. Oh my god. Now we know she's scared of Elka Solid 3. Metalpipe.avif, yeah. <coughs> this is the first boss. Yeah. I'll be real with you, I don't think my adrenaline would carry me through this one. Maybe if I was really angry though.
Hey babe, how's the god fight going? It is great. I had to look up what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> Well, I don't, but Okay, I, I know how I would beat this thing, like, if I was in this scenario. Okay, like, anger isn't the solution to all problems, but like, I would emotionally manipulate that thing until it wouldn't want to fight me anymore. Like, I would call it ugly, and it would just go away, like, I would slap I its it. forehead. Slap its bald head. I'm Look sorry, at that, but that thing, thing would simply eat you immediately. Should be a one-hit KO, says Evitz. Yeah. I simply dodge. It's the shot oh, like just like before. <laughs> Might just be me though. My back. So until free, just a dream. I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> no way. Mario and Luigi Dream Team Bros was heavily influenced by this. Oh god, you call it Dream Team Bros? Well, I'm so S German. SMH. Do you call it Super Superstar Saga Bros too? Oh. Uh... Partner in Time Bros. Bowser's actually, Inside I... Story Bros. I I I I actually never say the Bros. Oh brother, I just I just say Superstar Saga, uh, Partners in Time and um, Dream Team usually. Mm. I never play Partner in Partners in Time. I should play that. You should. It's very good. Well, it's okay. <laughs> Nothing will ever surpass uh, Bowser's Inside Story for me. It was so fucking good. It is pretty good. Heather! It's you. What just happened? You must be one of them! What did I do? And what do you mean by one of them? You're in on this with that Claudia, aren't you? Claudia? What about her? She asked me to find you, that's all. So you are one of them. Claudia did all that? Look, I was just hired to find you. I'm not on anybody's side. I don't know anything about this. I don't know anything about this. I'm Columbo. Hi, how you doing? Or something, something new, new come. I don't know any more than you do. Balls of balls. Really My name is Duke Newcomb. Feeling it's got something to do with me. I'm Mine Duke isn't. Newcomb. Just an innocent <laughs> bystander, but I, I can't feel sorry for you because you dragged me into this. You know, if you hadn't found me. What are you talking about? What's so special about you anyway? Get off your fucking high horse. You are not special. But I know there's something. Something I've been running from and forgot for a long time. Subway home. 
What should I do? How if I know? Pretty rogue. We got eco actions. There he is. Eco actions? Min Minmo. Minmo. Strong and healthy Minmo. Growing big and strong. <laughs> Minmo. <coughs> I still want to buy the Minmo shirt. <laughs> Minmo. <laughs> Min <laughs> Looks like he's looking at the lightsaber. <laughs> he's enamored with it. <laughs> Growing strong and healthy. Minmo, I would kill for you. I would die for you. Goodbye, Minmo. <laughs> Minmo! <laughs> oh, I'm really supposed to be looking for a map, aren't I? A little bit. I got sidetracked with Minmo. Understandable. Could you blame me? No. Your trash. Keep the environment healthy. There's a newspaper left on top of the ticket machine. Fatal accident at Hazel Street. At about 11 p.m. on the 4th, a man waiting on the platform at the Hazel Street station fell into the cracks and was decapitated onto the tracks and was decapitated by the arriving St. Uh, Renata College bound train. The victim died instantly. While police have not yet determined whether the death was an accident or suicide, witnesses report that the victim did not look inebriated and seemed to jump off the platform deliberately. The victim's identity is still unknown. He was approximately 40 years old, 5 foot 10 tall, and was wearing a black jacket. The newspaper is 4 months old. What's it doing here now? I think it's a little funny that they keep having to justify why the world is so empty aside from Heather. Yeah.
I also think it's funny that they have to justify, like, rooms that they don't want you to go into and don't want to have to do with is like, oh, the, mm -hmm. it's, it's broken. It's just like that. What to do? Tab out for five minutes and you're in Resident Evil 2. This game's crazy. I don't believe this game. No smoking. Don't tell me what to do. Help at. Not great. Um. You should fix that, probably. Maybe. Maybe. Hazel Street? Yeah. Who the fuck names a street like that? Why would they do that? I just realized I was muted since like... 50 hours ago, so every every <laughs> single funny thing I said was unheard of. Strong and healthy. Going strong and healthy. Uh. 
Uh, for a row that's broken, I'm barely certain I just heard one of them ring. <laughs> Oh, gamers, I think I'm gonna head out. All right, have a good Thank night. You. Thank you. Need to do some schoolwork again after that. I'll see what I'll do. Right. Thanks for having me here. Of course. I'll keep the stream open. I'll activate my 50 bot accounts. Bye bye. Thank you. <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye. Only 50? SMH. <laughs> Gotta up those rookie numbers. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what a funny magic this person is, yeah. So true, magic. I'm sorry, what was that now? Oh, you know. A nutcracker? <gasps> you can break the walnut. I already did that. You can do it again. Break a second walnut. <laughs> Just do it.
I picked up a shotgun. You should use it. No. Okay. Why on earth would I do that? Murder is Funny. bad. You know what I think? I think you should, uh, kill. Why? Because I, I said so. Okay. <coughs> you good? Yeah. <laughs>
I'm trying to figure out what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> okay. bunch of dogs dancing around you. Yeah. Yeah. Spooky. Then what am I not doing right? Because it says that I need to be at a platform, like that I picked up the um. I need to pick up the shotgun, which I did. And I need to be on platform 3, which I am. Now it's the end of the platform until you see a door with a red light on the tracks. You figure it out? No. I oh. got hit by the train. F. Oh, so you did figure it out. No. Okay. It says I'm supposed to be on platform three. I don't... I got to platform three, which is where it says I'm supposed to be, and it says that I like it says that as long as I've picked up the what am I missing. Platform three is pretty empty. Head to the farthest end of the platform until you see a door with a red light on the track. Go down to the door and try to open it. It will be locked, but you'll need to investigate it to begin the next part. Oh, there's something on the tracks I'm supposed to interact with. I see. Uh, I love it when games don't let you progress because you didn't interact with a specific thing that wasn't going to let you in anyway. It says that I need to interact with it and then immediately get back onto the platform because the train's going to come. Lovely. I think because I thought it was referring to that door, but I guess it's not. Hmm. Weird.
Should I see a video walkthrough, please? No. Okay. Because I went and got the shotgun and the shotgun shells. Go down to the door and try to open it. It will be locked, but you need to investigate it to start the next part. Be prepared to get on the platform immediately after. The other issue I'm having is that the pic, like, because it currently is showing pictures of what I'm supposed to be looking at. And yeah. the, f the pictures don't look the same as to what I'm currently looking at, which is part of my confusion. Hmm. Okay, so what what exactly is the issue right now? I figured Walking it out. I I'm, oh. I'm in the right area. I just need to get to a different area because I am supposed to be on this platform. I'm supposed to be on that rightmost area, which means that I now have to backtrack and figure out how to get to that point. I see. That's what I was misunderstanding, was that I was in the right... I was on the right map, just not the right area. Yeah. Because if I go down there... Other side, that's also not where I want to be. I need to head back up. And look for another way.
read this a long time ago. It's a uh, nothing little occult magazine. Seems like a bunch of crap to me. It's not so bad if you read it for fun, though. The souls of those mm. who died suddenly by suicide or accident don't realize they're dead. Sometimes they stay put and haunt that particular place. These spirits have lost their human senses and memories and can only keep replaying the pain and sadness of the moment they died. The pain can get so bad that they turn to humans for salvation, or that they begrudge humans for their lives. As such, they can possess humans. Uh, places known as famous suicide spots or high accident areas are often to blame. You should be careful when approaching such locations, especially on the day or time the death occurred. That is, if you don't want it to happen to you too. I might have fucked up. You think you fucked up? Oh shit, 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 shit. Nope. I think this is where I'm supposed to be. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, maybe not. I think that was just a thing that can happen. I think it was supposed to be the, the one dude that we read about that died on the track was supposedly pushing me off. Oh, fun. Okay, yeah, no. I'm on the wrong platform still. Okay. Hello, Min. Minmo. I'm big and strong. Hello, Tennessee. Are you growing big and strong? What do you mean, no? Am I not feeding you enough Minmo snacks?
Can you believe this? Believe what? Tennessee doesn't think I'm feeding her enough Minmo snacks. Well, are you? I think I am. <laughs> Yo, I did it! You did it! You got onto the railroad. God fucking damn it! Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on, no, get up on the platform. God damn it. <sighs> oh, thank oh. god. Oh my god, okay. Well... At least those dogs won't be a problem anymore. It better fucking not. What was their purpose? Fuck you, that's why. Babe, not on stream. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Am I supposed to go to the other fucking platform to get on? Yes. Juked.
looking at the walkthrough again. Yeah. How much longer did you think you were going to go for? Uh, probably not a whole lot longer. Why? I was just curious. I didn't know if I was going to leave now or later. So I need to go make some dinner. Because I know once, I think once I get on, yeah, it looks like once I get on the train, there's a, the next save point. I'll probably put it there once I figure out how to get on the fucking train. Yeah. Take a moment to mourn the three doubleheads that got murdered by the train and begin to make your way west. Uh, you you want to board the train, but all the doors on this side are closed. Continue west and move through the gate along the tra tracks, unlocking it first. Pass the doubleheads. No doors. Ascend the staircase. Okay, so I have to... It's another stupid thing of I have to be in a specific spot on this thing. Okay. Thank you. 
<laughs> oh god, Heather. You went onto the spooky train. What did you think was gonna happen? Yeah. Come on, girl. There's a newspaper on the floor. It's nothing but garbage. There's symbols around the floor. I hope I don't get cursed by just by stepping on them. Too bad. Oh. I've saved 14 times. <laughs> <laughs> Save file. Why not? I don't wanna. <laughs> I think I'm gonna cut it here. My head hurts. Okay. Everybody, you heard it here first. We did not find <laughs> Percy's husband just yet, but tune in next time. Where we will definitely. Well, actually, probably not even next time. Uh, because I imagine it's gonna be. Because I don't think we see him again until like the end of the game. Yeah. But, uh. I hope that everyone had a good time. I will hopefully be coming back sometime again by the end of the month to at least try to do more of the game. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know if I'm going to finish it on stream. I'd like to, but this is more so me just wanting to revisit the game two years later. Because I looked in the la my last stream for Silent Hill 3 when I beat the game the first time was sometime in February 2021. So it's been mm -hmm. about two and a half years now. It's been a hot minute. Yeah. But I, I very much wanted to revisit it. I also miss my husband, Robbie. Robbie Rabbit. When will he return from When will he return from the war? I don't think he's going to. I think he's dead. Oh no. But I hope everyone had a good time. Thank you for stopping by. Uh Yeah. Logan, do you have anything you want to tell the people? No. Are you sure about that? No. <laughs> okay. Have a good day, everybody. I'm going to tell the people bye. No. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, goodbye.